Oh, shout out to the jumpers, shout out to the dunkers. Um, hopefully this video expands your thinking about how to jump high or how to jump safely as well. So, there's a couple things that go into jumping. Um, first is ground force reaction. So, if I apply a thousand pounds of force into the ground, the ground apply, applies a thousand pounds of force into me and I go crazy up into the air. So, the more force you can apply into the ground, the higher that you can jump. So that's why we see a lot of high jumpers lifting really super heavy deadlifts um, and Olympic lifts and stuff like that. And that's a good way to jump high if you can apply a lot of force into the ground. However, obviously there's a danger to that because if you're applying a ton of force into the ground, if it's misapplied at all, it can cause some damage or some tears and stuff like that. So for me personally, I have a fear of applying tons of force into the ground. And I don't necessarily train for it either. I mean, I rarely deadlift. When I Olympic lift, I keep it 130-ish, which is, I mean, even close to my body weight. So I guess it's heavy. But if you really, really want to jump super high, the more force you can apply into the ground, the better. However, it's not necessarily the safest way to jump. Energy efficient jump style, you can jump high from other ways other than putting a lot of force in the ground. Second way to jump high is through momentum shift. Um, so if you run really fast and you take a big arm swing, you're jumping higher without putting more force into the ground because your horizontal momentum from running is transferred vertically from your arm swing. Force equals mass times acceleration. So the faster, more acceleration on your arms, the more upward force you can cause. And the heavier and bigger your arms, the more upward force. So we often see guys with giant, giant arms jumping really high. So uh, if you have a if you run fast and have a good arm swing, it may be possible to jump higher without applying more force in the ground, which could be safer theoretically. Another way to get higher, and this isn't so popular, but I like it obviously, is if you get a hand into the net and pull. You can apply, I don't know, one arm pull up force, which can give you a few more inches and let you get higher without applying more force in the ground. So, for me personally, to have an energy efficient jump style and not necessarily wanting to put a thousand pounds of force into the ground, that's going to limit me as well as a jumper. But I try to combine these things try to run fast, get a good arm swing, put a good but a safe for me amount of force in the ground get a hand in that and pull. And that's how I can get to 40 plus inches. I mean, there's guys who can jump 50 straight up, you know, and that's amazing to me. Um, I don't think I'll ever do that because I am don't think I'm going to put that kind of force in the ground. But I can get closer if I work on these other things, you know, run fast, take a big arm swing, get a hand in the net, pull, and apply a good amount of force in the ground. So I hope that helps you. If you want to jump really, really high, you do have to put, you know, the more force you can put in the ground, the better. And that requires intent and desire to fuck the ground and jump high. Um, that can be difficult to do because once you make the connection between those force impacts and your knees and stuff like that, it can be a bit scary to even jump that high. And that's something that I've been dealing with, especially in the last session on the linoleum. It's like, do I really want to put a ton of force into the ground so it, it becomes hard to jump at times but if you have the intent to jump high and you apply a lot of force you run fast you arm swing you'll jump super high so um hope this video helps you uh the jumpers improve their technique or their style or just get more information on how jumping actually works um let me know what you think in the comments uh if there's anything i missed or you want to pick my brain on jumping at all i respond to just about everything so, PC in the comments, much love. And if you want this free sustainable dunking resource, give us our email below. Stay tuned um, as well. Two new ebooks coming, uh, jumping related, secrets of two foot jump techniques, secrets of two foot jump training. So, uh, th these resources together will get you jumping high safely for years without getting injured. So, that's what it's all about. Peace, much love. See you in the comments.